Hi again, friends. We are standing inside of the new women's lacrosse and women's field hockey facility here on the campus of Liberty University. My name is Nick Pierce, and we're joined here by Lady Flames lacrosse coach Regan Denham. And uh, coach, uh, it's been a uh, long year so far, but uh, got to be good to have this facility and these uh, brand new locker rooms to have and have a place to call home. Yeah, we're definitely enjoying the new facility. Um, it's been awesome to be only a third year program and to have a um, brand new facility, a uh, brand new field. Um, it's been great. I know the girls have really been appreciative of everything that we've been given. Yeah, you hear the promises and the, the plans of this place being constructed, but now that it's finally here and that, that you're actually able to see it and touch it and be inside of it, what, what's, what's it like? Um, it's just, it's awesome. Like you said, um, every, every time you take a job, you're always, you know, promised a lot of things and, um, coming in and, and taking this position, you know, um, Jeff Barber had told me a, a lot of different things were going to happen. And, um, so far he's been right on everything that he's promised me coming in, um, has slowly, we've been working towards it. Um, and it's just, it's great. Um, just having a home too. I think the girls are excited to have a place to, to hang out and to call ours instead of we were sharing with soccer, we, you know, we were all different places. Um, so it's great to finally have a home. Uh, the season so far, a lot of time has been spent on the road. Uh, the record, I'm sure, is not what you want at this point, but uh, a chance to uh, win a couple of conference games here coming up against Jacksonville and Presbyterian College. Just kind of give us an idea of how, what the season's been like for you and the ladies. Yeah, I mean, definitely having a, a mostly away schedule this year has, has hurt us a little bit. Um, we're excited. We have home games coming up, um, which is great to kind of close out the season. Um, moving into conference, we're excited to kind of turn the season around and, and just be really focused on, on the next thing ahead. Um, we've learned a lot this season. Um, we still have a very, very young team, um, and we just continue to, to progress. We had a lot of really close games, overtime games um, this season, and so we're looking to really improve as, as we go into conference, and I think the girls are, are really, really excited to, for that kind of next stage in the season. You look at some of the improvements, uh, Virginia Tech, I mean, you just look from, from last year to this year, you lose to them 18-2 to two. last year, you lost them 13-8 to eight this year, a lot closer match there. You've had a couple of close overtime losses. Is it something where the, the ladies are still kind of learning how to close out games, learning how to win? Yeah, I mean, this week um, we've been talking a lot about mental toughness, and that's really been kind of our story through the season. Um, we've performed really, really well. We have the talent. Um, we just need to improve our mental game and, and be able to close out these games. Um, and so this week we've been focusing on um, – we had some articles the girls were reading. We've been doing some different activities at practice to really work on that mental IQ and, and being able to perform under pressure. The defense has seemingly been a strong point for the, the club this year. A lot of uh, Defender of the Week awards. Uh, a lot of ladies have really filled into roles there. Uh, just talk about how the defense has improved over the last year. Yeah, well, we had um, Jersey, uh, Chris Masulo, coming back um, in goal, um, which has been huge for us. She had a big year last year. Um, again, she's performing really, really well for us this year. She kind of anchors the defense. Um, we have Chloe McIntosh, one of our captains, um, does an excellent job of just sort of – she's that one who you don't really notice until she's not there. She's, you know, kind of that um, – the captain who's like running running things and, and telling everybody where to go and everything's set up. Um, but our defense has been very strong. I mean, we've been running um, a backer defense and we've also been running kind of a, a settled eight, just um, staying on the eight meter defense. Um, and it's been working really, really well for us. Well, lastly here again, turn your sights to uh, Jacksonville and Presbyterian College coming up uh, next weekend. What are your thoughts on uh, these next two opponents and uh, w what's the matchup gonna be like? Um, we're really excited to get um, kind of our offense going. Um, in the games that we've done well in this year, it was because our offense was on on point and um, just looking to go to goal and, and not really worrying about how many goals were scored in us, just we're going to score more than you kind of attitude. Um, and that's what we're looking for um, against Jacksonville um, and definitely against Presbyterian. All right, very good. Coach Denham, thanks a lot for the time. Thanks. All right, now we're joined by Lady Flames freshman defender Hillary Bullock here on LibertyFlames.com. And, uh, Hillary, thanks for taking a couple of moments for us. Uh, ask you the same thing that I just asked Coach Denham a little while ago. What's it like having this nice, shiny, brand-new facility? Um, it's really nice. It's nice to ha finally have a place that we can call, like, ours and that, like, our team can come together and warm up before games and just not have to go all the way to soccer fields and, like, use their dorms. Now, we're standing here in the, uh, the, the brand-new locker room. Uh, where's your locker at in here? Is My locker is down there. Down that way? Okay. Yeah. Who, who's right next to you? Do you guys have? Um, yeah, um, one of my best friends, Casey Fogo, is down there, and um, Kristen Bolin, too. She's a goalie. Is that important to be able to choose, you know, who's in the locker next to you, you know, just to make sure you got good neighbors? Yeah, um, it's nice to, you know, know the people next to you, but um, our whole team, like, really gets along, and we're just a great group of friends, so. 
a lot of time to, to bond this year, as we were talking about with Coach Denham, a lot of time on the road. Uh, what are those road trips like in terms of building team chemistry? Um, you know, we've had a lot, of, a lot of long road trips, but they've been tons of fun. Um, you know, playing music and everything on the bus and just watching movies together and hanging out. Um, you know, the freshmen have been doing, like, little dances for the upperclassmen, and <laughs> it's just been a lot of fun. Good stuff. Uh, well, this year you are second on the team in ground balls. You are third on the team in cause turnovers. Uh, you've been a little bit of a pest out there defensively. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's working for you and how you've made the adaptation from high school to college. Um, well, first coming in, I was really nervous. Um, it's really intimidating coming on to a D1 college lacrosse team, not having, you know, not being recruited and not knowing what the other girls are playing, how they play. Um, but just as time went on, just playing with these girls, learning how they play, you know, um, playing with the defenders, like learning to work with them. Um, and just you have to be really aggressive and you ha just have to go through every ball. You have to work on every pass. You just really have to focus hard and practice and so you can perform well in the game. Seems like communication would be very important out there as well on the defensive end. Uh, how well do you guys communicate and what have you learned about being a good defender this year? Um, we have been working our way. Sometimes we have trouble communicating, um, but we have done actually really well. Um, like Coach said, Chloe McIntosh, one of our defenders, is our main communicator, and um, it will really hurt us if she's not in the game because she is the one who's always talking. Um, and just learning, you know, calling slide and calling help um, just is really key to our defense. Um, and it's just been, you know, you just really have to um, be really aggressive on defense. And even if you don't get the ball, like, you have to intimidate the other team. You have to get the ball. So. A lot of mind games, huh? Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, uh, Hillary, thanks a lot for the time. And, uh, again, uh, uh, congratulations on a great season so far. And uh, look forward to catching up with you again here real soon. Thank you very much.